This video is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. Although I can't grow a beard whatsoever, I still have plenty of wispy little friends that need to be trimmed. I started using Dollar Shave Club a while back and the experience has been great. They deliver high quality razors right to my door. And if you go to dollarshaveclub.com slash bobbyburns or click the link in the description, you get a one month trial of any razor for just a buck. It will really help out the channel and will give you a clean, smooth shave for just one dollar. Make sure you head over to dollarshaveclub.com slash bobbyburns to get started today. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? This is Kresha, the star of the 2015 American drama of the same name. The film follows the story of the eponymous character's battle with addiction and her uncomfortable interactions with her family at an annual reunion. Although the film was made for under $100,000, was shot in nine days, and stars mainly the director's family members, you wouldn't know unless someone told you. It's so funny because a lot of people get the impression that this was like, oh, you just called his family all together and they like imp improvise this thing. Not at all. It was a very tightly scripted, very tightly choreographed um, production. The performances are phenomenal. The cinematography is beautiful and breathtaking and the overall tone of the film makes you so uncomfortable you can barely stand it. From here on, there will be spoilers, so if you haven't seen this film, please pause this video and purchase it on iTunes right away. It's only an hour and 20 minutes, you have the time, and believe me, you won't regret it. Okay, moving on. This film was the passion project and directorial debut of the now 29-year-old filmmaker Trey Edward Schultz. He wrote the script for the film in 2014 and attempted to shoot it with the money he had been saving for the previous two years. But he doesn't have any of the other professional actors. He has a small group of people. He doesn't have the right gear. He doesn't have the right crew. He had a meltdown. He, uh, it, it, nobody on the set knew. Although the shoot did not go the way he had planned, Trey was able to pull together a short film from the footage he had. This short was then posted to Kickstarter where it quickly raised the funds Trey needed. He took two years to get that short to happen. And then it, once the short came out, in March of 2015, the 1st of August of that same year, we're shooting the feature. The thing this film does better than anything else is put you inside of the main character's head. Many films, such as Hardcore Henry or Maniac, employ first-person camera work for the entirety of the film to achieve this feeling. To better Hannah's understanding of how good he looks. And while Kresha does utilize several angles that emulate a first-person perspective, the majority of the film is shot using handheld shaky cam, wide stabilized long takes, and zooms in and out. These three techniques do so much to put you into Kresha's mind and show you how she's viewing the uncomfortable situation she is in. Totally sorry. Totally sorry. Way too soon. She sees and hears everything as though she is in a horror film, and in many respects, she is. The choices she makes during the 24 hours the film shows us have a devastating effect on everyone involved. The actions and emotions that are usually pushed to the side or played down are the main focus of the movie and are presented in a much creepier way than they usually would be. Like the shots that feel as though they're a direct homage to the 1980 Stanley Kubrick film The Shining. So I think on the nights of the shooting they stuck to Kubrick. They would finish this grueling long day shoot and they'd crank up a movie. The first night of shooting, they watched The Shining. By using these types of shots in a way that very few directors but Kubrick have done, Trey was able to connect the horrified feelings so many of us have when watching The Shining to a woman trying to cook a turkey. One of the most stressful and tense scenes of the film consists of a three minute one take that follows Kresha's attempt to cook said turkey. Little things like Tupperware falling out of cabinets or characters cheering at a touchdown seem violent and sinister when viewed through the eyes of Kresha. Okay, she I'll, I'll ask. Alas. Another cinematic technique that Trey used to further place you in her head was the change of aspect ratio. He wanted everything to feel big and, and open of possibilities. And then she walks into this huge monstrosity of a house that is the life that she might have had. And then he wanted that world to start to close in on her 
and she felt too big for everything. She was gonna burst, gonna explode out of the middle. Everything inside her was roiling and wanting to explode, but the walls had come in this far. This film is unique and innovative, while still keeping true to the heart of cinema. It explores new ground and expands the cinematic language as it simultaneously pulls from and references the films of the past. It's full of heartbreak, horror, fear, and love. It's exactly what movies are about. And it was made by a first-time director with his family, for less than $100,000. There's a quote from Andre Torres, the co-founder of the website SimpleForm, that reads, complain about the way other people make software by making software. If you replace the word software with the word films, I think Trey is doing just that. What's our excuse? Bye, sweetie.